It wasn't a pretty game on Saturday for KU football. The third-ranked Baylor Bears showed the Jayhawks why they're third best in the country and why KU is, well, not anywhere close to that. The Kansas team coming out of the gate with some energy on Saturday. It didn't necessarily stay that way. Let's jump right into the highlights, though. It starts out with the Baylor Bears scoring in just over two minutes. That is a pass coming from Seth Russell connecting with Corey Coleman, giving the extra effort on the 11-yard score. Now this is the energy out of the tunnel I was talking about. The Hawks come right back, scoring in just under three, just over rather, three minutes. That was Steven Sims with a 36-yard reception from freshman quarterback Ryan Willis. More on him later, but Baylor not happy with that. Russell, Coleman, 11 yards for the score. I heard that one earlier in the highlights. 14-7 Bears now. Even after that, Coleman, Russell, they're not done. They're gonna air it out for a 41-yard catch. You see right there, Coleman, he's going to pop up, give the DB a little stare down. That play is going to set up a quarterback keeper off play action. Russell doing it with his legs, five yards, putting the Bears up 21-7. to But the highlight everyone was talking about Saturday, Laquan McGowan, 410 pounds, rumbling in the end zone, 18-yard reception for the touchdown, 410 pounds, I repeat, senior, out of the backfield. I think you get the picture, though. KU drops this one, 66-7. to now the loss drops KU to 0-5, and true freshman Ryan Willis got the nod at quarterback. Being a true freshman, Willis isn't allowed to talk to the media, but his head coach and teammates were glad to talk about his start. A team riddled with injuries leaves Ryan Willis and Taylor Cox in the backfield. But even with the freshman under center, there is still some trust. You no, know, I, I was very impressed with his de demeanor. I think he's a, a natural leader, and uh, I felt comfortable with him back there and I feel like the whole team does. Willis in his first ever start threw for 158 yards on 20 completions. His longest completion coming on his first drive. He went out there, did his job, ex uh, executed the first drive, did really good, and just got to continue to get better. Trusting yeah. the coaching staff. And for a freshman, played pretty good the first drive, and I think he'll be a good player for us. After the first drive, the Jayhawks were shut out, and the Baylor defense even put up more points with a 30-yard scoop and score. Uh, but I thought Ryan handled it pretty well. Um, I like the kid. I've said it before. I, I really like him. I like his demeanor. I like I like the fact that he loves to play football. I mean, you'd be surprised how many, how many people in this world sometimes play the game they don't love it. That love of the game isn't going unnoticed. Yeah, yeah, you know, as a, you know, as a freshman, you know, you see people, you know, get down on themselves or, but no, he goes out there every day, you know, wanting to make plays. You know, he's uh, very confident in himself. Ryan Willis's next start will be against the Red Raiders, who come to Lawrence leading the FBS in passing yards per game. Texas Tech is also second in points per game behind only one team. You can probably guess this one, Baylor. Kicks off, kickoff is 11 a.m. Now volleyball won again, and this marks their 17th win of the season. The win helped propel the sophomore setter to the National Player of the Week. Uh, Nisei Havili is the NCAA leader in assists and was recognized by Sports Imports and the American Volleyball Coaches Association as the top player in the NCAA. The Fort Worth native also helped the KU offense lead the nation in kills per set and hitting percentage. She's already been known as the Big 12 Offensive Player of the Week twice this year. And Kansas men's golf placed third in the Bayou City Collegiate Classic on Tuesday. This marks the fourth time the team has been placed in the top five during this season. They've only been in four invitationals. Now the Jayhawks finished 14 over par, just eight strokes behind the winner of Houston. Senior Ben Welly placed third overall in the tournament with a score of four under par. Welly says he loves the progress he's seen with his teammates. From the year I got here, um, the team was struggling a little bit. Um, so from where we've came from the year I got here to where we are now is pretty, pretty special. And I think that's means a lot to coach and what we've been working for. So it's just, Good to see Harburg's fan off. The next tournament for the Jayhawks is October 23rd at the Prices Given 5 Invitational in El Paso, Texas. And in comeback fashion, the Kansas City Royals were able to win Game 4 down in Houston. Now a decisive Game 5 between the Houston Astros and the Kansas City Royals will begin at 7 o'clock tonight. The starting pitchers will most likely be Johnny Cueto versus Colin McHugh.